Our objectives for this lesson are the following. 1. Define exponential expression. And 2. Distinguish exponential function, exponential equation, and exponential inequality. Let's have a quick review on this first. 3 here is the base, and 2 is the exponent. Let us define exponential expression. It is an expression of the form a times b raised to x minus c plus d, where a, b, c, and d are constants, with b greater than 0 but not equal to 1. b is the constant that is raised to a variable. Another definition, it is a mathematical expression consisting of a constant raised to some power x, meaning our base is a constant and our exponent contains a variable. Here are some examples. Remember two things. You should have a base that is a constant and an exponent that contains a variable. Let us examine first our bases. So 5 is a constant, 6, 1 over 16, 3, E. Is E a constant? Yes, it is. E is a numerical constant. Just like pi that is approximately equal to 3.1416, E also is a numerical constant, approximately equal to 2.71828. Now let us examine our exponents. It should contain a variable. So check, 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 and check. Therefore, these are exponential expressions. Now, let us define exponential function. It is a function involving exponential expression that shows a relationship between the independent variable x and dependent variable y or f of x or g of x. Also, it is a function of the form f of x equals b raised to x where b is greater than 0 but not equal to 1. Here are some examples. Remember three things. First, make sure that it is an exponential expression, meaning bases should be constants. And the exponent should contain a variable. Second, there should be y or f of x, or g of x, or any name of a function. And third, there should be equal sign. So these are exponential functions. Next, let's have exponential equation. It is an equation involving exponential expressions. Also, an equation in which one or both sides contain a variable exponent. Here are some examples. Two things that you have to remember. First, again, make sure that one or both sides are exponential expressions. So for this example, only one side is an exponential expression. The other side is a constant. For the remaining three examples, both sides are exponential expressions. Again, to say that it is an exponential expression, the base should be constant. And your exponent should contain a variable x. And second thing, there should be equal sign. That's it for exponential equations. Last one, exponential inequality. It is an inequality involving exponential expressions, an inequality in which one or both sides contain a variable exponent. Here are some examples. Two things that you have to remember. First, again, make sure that one or both sides are exponential expressions. So make sure that your base is a constant and that your exponent contains a variable. And second, it uses inequality symbols. That's it for exponential inequalities. 
Determine whether the following is an exponential function, exponential equation, exponential inequality, or not an exponential expression. Let's have the first one. So on this side, I have a constant. On this side, I have a constant raised to an exponent that contains a variable. Therefore, this is an exponential expression. And since it uses an inequality symbol, therefore, this is an exponential inequality. Next one. I have here a constant raised to a variable. Therefore, this is an exponential expression. Then 8 cubed is simply a constant. I also have an equal sign. Therefore, this is an exponential equation. Another one. I have here y. I have here equal sign. I have here a constant, but I do not have an exponent. Therefore, this is not an exponential expression. Next one, I have here a constant raised to an exponent that contains a variable, so exponential expression. This side is also a constant raised to a variable, another exponential expression. I have here equal sign, therefore this is exponential equation. Next one, I have here y, I have equal sign, constant, and a constant raised to a variable. So this portion is exponential expression. Having y and equal sign, therefore this is exponential function. Last one, I have here y, inequality symbol. But look, my base is a variable, not a constant. And my exponent is a constant, not a variable. So it's the other way around. Therefore, this is not an exponential expression. Now, let us check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Here are the answers. For number one, I have here y equal sign. And remember, E is a constant raised to an exponent that contains a variable. Therefore, this is an exponential function because of Y. Next, number two, I have Y equal sign. But notice that on this side, I do not have an exponent that contains a variable. Two here is a constant. Therefore, this is not an exponential expression. Next one, number three, I have here a constant raised on exponent with a variable and an inequality symbol. Therefore, this is an exponential inequality. Next, number four, I have here a constant with an exponent that contains a variable. Also on this side, a constant raised on exponent that contains a variable and an equal sign. Therefore, this is an exponential equation. And last one, I have here f of x equal sign, a constant raised to an exponent that contains a variable. Therefore, this is an exponential function. Gets? I'll be happy to know your scores. Please write them in the comment section below.